My name is Ron Finch, and I'm the owner of Finch's Custom Style Cycles. Seeing you guys are here today, I'd like to take you in the shop and show you around some of the creations that we've been building and creations we've built in the past. Just looking out from the entrance of the shop, which you only get one first expression, whether it's good or bad. And so, as you walk up here, it kind of gives you a little, little artsy feeling to where uh, it doesn't look like your normal storefront with uh, windows and so on and so forth. And there's all types of people that walk through that, that arch as far as anywhere from bikers to lawyers to doctors and uh, a lot of people just come in just being uh, spectators just to see what goes on in the building. The thing about doing a little design element on this fender, I mean right now it's clean, smooth fender, but when I paint it I want to do a little separation in the paint, which I could just do by tape and a little pinstripe, but I think rather than that, we want to kind of bend a rod, something like this. We take uh, either a finger swipe a Bondo or a, a squeegee and you just kind of lay it in, keep, keep sanding it down. There's no easy way to do it, basically you just do it by hand, but if you can shape the filler, you got to try to retain the radius or otherwise it's more work than you need. So when we paint this, it's going to be a two-tone. This is going to be a cobalt blue and it's going to be a more of a sky blue with designs in through here. We should be painting this next week because the sun is shining and we got to get on the road. This bike is owned by Les Barton. This whole bike's been custom built and basically he told me three things that he wanted uh, in the paint job, which was a blend plus the marbleizing and a little gold leaf. At that point, I could do whatever would make the bike look right, and this is what I've came up with. And he's very satisfied the way it came out. This one, I call loophole. Uh, reason being because there's loopholes in the law and loopholes in tax, but this, where the exhaust pipes come through the frame loop to the other side is where the name came from. The gas tank, is in the rear fender, three and a half gallons, uh, which gives me around 100 mile range, which is enough for me to stop and want to take a break anyways. Built the seat rack, built the whole frame naturally. It's a 96 cubic inch, but it's a, it's a good bike to ride. And then I've got a bra and the one saddlebag that Velcros around the sculptured front fender if I get stuck in the rain. This bike I call Aorta because like the engine is the heart, these would be the arteries coming, coming out from the heart. And what's unique about this bike, if you take these four bolts out here and the two bolts down there and seven through here, and at that point you literally could almost put in a suitcase where if you wanted to fly to, say, California, take a couple wrenches, put your bike back together, and you could go for a butt down Highway 101. This bike here is called Trilogy because, as you can see, everything's in threes. Three bloops, three tanks. This is the main gas tank and the oil tank on the bottom. And the way you ride it is uh, kind of like a motorcycle, but more like a car. The gas pedal is here, and the gear shift and the clutch is on my right hand, where you pull the clutch in, push it down for first, pull the clutch in, pull it up for second, bam, bam, five times. Kind of the problem with this bike is 
it gets attention from little kids to old ladies to everybody. And you're sitting so low and you're cruising along the road and people are gawking at it. And they uh, have a tendency to want to get a little closer, which at that point sometimes I've got to kind of get off to the side of the road before they give me a kiss. And uh, it's got a unique sound all of its own with the trumpet and air horns from trucks. They uh, got just a very nice rap to them. I'm glad you guys stopped by the shop to see some of my creations. I enjoyed having you. Anytime anybody wants to stop by and listen to the rap of those pipes, they're more than welcome to do that. <laughs>